Ladies and gentlemen, it has arrived in the mail today. I'm super stoked. This is my third pair. I own two prior pair. This is my third pair of X-Line. I'm assuming I'm pronouncing that correctly. I don't really have time to type it into Google and hit pronounce. But X-Line. Search. Axelion. Combo edit. Axelion image. Mesh C. Uh, the red. High risk red, mind you. Yeah, this is uh, completely out of left field for what I do. I normally review tech stuff, but I, I, I'm so excited about these shoes. This is the last pair of this type of shoe I will ever be able to own because they uh, quit making them, Puma apparently quit making them, and they're, uh, this particular pair run me 180. And uh, I wanted them so bad that I just wanted to pay the price. To, uh, uh, the first time I bought them was uh, in the 120 range. The second time was $80 range. And this is $180 range. But it's worth it. Uh, these are part of the reason my back doesn't hurt so bad anymore. And uh, this is by far the highest quality shoe I have ever bought. In. But it is... Um, the first high quality shoe I've ever bought. And the shoes that I bought before buying these uh, usually was the $20, $30 shoes at Walmart, you know. Uh, but there was uh, a time that I was really, really sick and I just wanted to go find something that helped me, ma uh, help make me feel better. And I fell in love with these. I put them on and I felt even more in love with them. Now I'm madly in love with them. Now I'm $200 in love with them. So I wanna unbox these for you all and get you up close and personal. And if I'm really feeling sexy by the end of this, I'll model one for you. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so let's take a look at the box. The box, the presentation of these, um, the box is not in very good condition. I'm gonna uh, excuse that because they did come through the mail really quickly, actually. So, uh, let's start with the details. So here's the details. All the information in the box. That's up. It's a soft foam, and boy, do they mean it. And it does not, um, like when I buy a new pair of shoes from Walmart, a little something cheaper, they feel good and soft for the first few days. It, it breaks in and, and uh, flattens out. These, these stay soft every time you put your feet in them for an entire year straight. That's what I love about these, why they're worth every penny to me. And here's a size chart for all that are interested. I uh, see so these are the 11 and a halfs. Once again, uh, presentation isn't much to scream home about. So, but we're not buying these shoes for the box. I mean, it would have been nice for it to come with a nice box because for all intents and purposes, these are kind of collectible at this point because they no longer make them. Not that I can find anyway. Guys, just absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. I, I don't know why, I just love this Puma symbol right here. Just stands out to the side. They breathe so good. I made myself make this video before I put them on so they would be spotless when I showed them on the camera. Cause I'm, I can't wait to put them on the back here. So they got the, yeah, they got that in it. So I don't think these were even tried on before I got them. Sometimes you'll get stuff like this and they will they will be uh, shipped out prior Amazon wardrobe for people to try and send back. Now, the, the selling point, not only do these look sexy, guys, I'm not kidding, but I can't punch home, I can't express enough how comfortable the soft foam is. Oh, you fill it with your fingers and it is just, your finger sink, sinks down in there one whole inch. And when you go to push down, there's so much cushion, your finger goes down one inch. Now normally, here's the weird part about these. So normally, I wear size 12. Uh, and I could definitely get a, a size 12 of these and wear them. And be just fine. But dropping down a half inch feels like it fits perfect. I feel like every inch of my foot is... Uh, supported by these shoes. I know there's shoe enthusiasts out there. That's why I'm doing this video and I don't buy new shoes very often These will last me one whole year for all those interested um, I got a pair of these on my feet right now, and I'm going to uh, give you a side-by-side -side comparison <laughs> Day not I still 
very heavily on my, I kind of step sideways and it cause, causes every one of my shoes, every shoe that I ever owned uh, to bust out the side like this. I don't know how I could walk any different. I don't tie these. I, I tied them in a knot. So the first pair, I still have the first pair, uh, came out of the box tied with this knot. And I, uh, when I bought this, this pair, this is the second pair, I tied these in that exact same knot and it, uh, I can slide the shoe on and off very, very easily, but it, it uh, does seem to jack up the inside of them. Okay, so I can feel a, I can feel a difference here. So on this brand new pair, I feel my finger going down at what feels like a whole inch. On this side, it, it's, it hits the bottom a lot faster, but the cushion is definitely still there. I wear these things out. I do, I think my phone tells me I walk somewhere in the neighborhood of 3,000 feet a day. 3,000 steps a day. So let's go all out. Here's my left foot. You know, these didn't get abused as bad, but I, I do seem to walk on the side of my feet, on the outside of my feet with both feet in the backside. So let's, my old pair, Puma. Why did you quit making these? Just because I like them? Is that why? It seems like when I find something, it goes out of style really quick. So here's the MSRP, $75. I wasn't able to find them anywhere else. I'm sure if I, if I took an hour and dug around, I would have found something eventually, a little bit cheaper than this, but the guy had them right there on Amazon Marketplace, ready to ship, got here in a day. What's there to complain about? And I didn't have to go to the mall to get them. Absolutely wonderful. I can honestly say that these don't go the best in snow. They're definitely not slip resistant in snow and wet areas, greasy floors, whatnot. But normal everyday walk-in, you got black top, you got concrete, you got normal floor, tile floor, wood floor. They seem to uh, grip onto everything pretty good. Because these things scream quality. I'm sure Puma has a pair. They, they, they're bound to have made a new version of this. They've got about 20 different types of shoes and a pair of work boots I really dig too. These, I'm having a hard time letting go of this style of shoe. It's the first really, really nice shoe I ever owned. So I want to get on here and share that moment with y'all. Hell yeah, guys. Oh, those are so nice. So, so nice. Now, when, before, you know, after I about wear them for a day, they're going to feel just perfect right now. Like, my big toe is coming to there, and it, it's kind of getting wedged into tip here. But uh, I don't mind, because these shoes fit really good and snug up against my feet. Some people like their shoes to be loose. So here we go, guys. I'm going to be a complete dork right now, modeling these shoes. I just dig them. I love them good and comfy. We're walking down the sidewalk, people behind you can see the Puma on the back of the shoe. You can show off your mad nunchuck skills with these on too. So I'm proud of them. I love them. And uh, I basically want to document the uh, the last pair of Axe Lions I'm going to get because after this, they're probably going to be 500 to 1,000 when you find them. And I'm not paying that. No, I'll 200 all day. But uh, yeah, guys. I just thought I'd try something new, do a new concept, do a new style video. More coming down the pipeline. I'm back in gear, baby, putting out videos here on Biased. And until next time, peace.